So hello everybody and welcome to another Tarticulator video. In today's video I'm going to show you how to make two charts. We're going to do a pie chart and we're going to do a donut chart. So two for the price of one. Let's get started. Okay, I'm going to show you how to do pie charts. A lot of people do not like pie charts. I, I think if they have two categories they are fine. If you put labels and they order them they are fine. With two categories. More than that it gets difficult to read but Pie charts and donut charts are used everywhere, so I'm going to show you how to do them. Um, to do that, I have a table that has uh, the color green and red, which is the colors that we're going to use here, and then it has like the percentage of the pie chart. You can have this as measures too, it will work. And I'm going to show you how to do it. So first of all, go to Get More Visuals, download the chart, clear the chart again, if you, even if you already have it, because it updates all the time, right? So that way you are sure that you have the latest one. I'm going to click in here and I'm going to go to edit, create chart. Okay, so if you think about it, what is a pie chart? A pie chart is basically a bar that has a radial axis, so it goes around itself. And that's all you need to know in, in order to create a chart like that in here. So what we're going to do is to put the bar in there, we're going to close the gap. The length of these is going to be the percentage of each. So you will have one that is 30 and one that is uh, 70. And then we're going to put on the scaffold so you get the polar one, right? And just drop it in. And here you can't see anything yet, but once you color it, you'll start to see. So on fill, you put the color. And then you have here first, green and then red, that's fine, I don't mind. And then you need to sort them. So you get the 30% the first, and this is a donut chart, that's it. That's all you need to do. Now, how do you go from a donut chart to a pie chart? So that is actually very, very easy. You go to edit, and on the plot segment, you have here the inner and outer radius. If you put the inner radius of zero, don't worry about this little circle because once I click save, you have there the, um, the pie chart. And then the only thing that you need to do is obviously to put the um, text values. And you see that it gets angled the same way that, you know, it follows the, the axis, which in this case is definitely not what we want. We don't want people to have to turn their head around to do it. So I am going to report these to the Charticulator team. You put the text in there, you put as zero, and then you can actually put percent in there, and then you can put it white for contracts, and make it a little bit bigger. Not ideal. We have to wait until the team actually allows us to have like these guides and then the number for the pie chart. So for now, I mean, you can still put labels. You can put the table uh, on the side that will say what the values are. There, there are ways to do it, but... So we actually have to wait for the Charticulator team to fix this because this is not ideal by any means. So I think it's already been reported. I'll check it out otherwise I'll report it on Charticulator GitHub. If you have any bugs or suggestions, you can go here, report an issue. And the fingers crossed that they fix it soon, but you can now do pie charts and donut charts in Charticulator very easily. See you in the next video.